Josh Miller, the Bearded Prairie Chef, here on another beautiful Saskatchewan day. And today we're going to talk about grilling the perfect steak. My favorite steak of all time, the ribeye. The ribeye has so much fat in it, nice marbling. It just brings delicious flavor when you're wanting to have uh, a great steak at home uh, with your family and friends. So we got a couple nice ribeyes here, you know, from the local butcher shop here in Saskatchewan. So we got a couple beautiful ribeyes. As you can see, it's got amazing marbling in it. So when we cook this on the barbecue, that's gonna cook nice and slow. It's gonna melt and just add more flavor and more tenderness to the steaks. So the first thing that I like to do whenever I'm cooking steaks is I like to get a nice little rub that I just kind of make out of garlic powder, salt and pepper. And I like to just kind of coat the steaks uh, with it about 30 minutes before I'm gonna put it on the grill. So I just like to kind of throw it on there and just kind of let it marinate on the plate. So I like to get it in there, push it all over, make sure it's kind of got a nice coating. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna help to bring some of the moisture out of that steak. So moisture when on the barbecue, isn't amazing when we're trying to get nice grill marks for presentation. So we're just gonna throw that on there, we're gonna press it in, and we're just gonna let these sit for about 30 minutes until we're ready to go to that barbecue. We're gonna take these over to the barbecue. We got it ripping hot, about 500 degrees, and we're gonna put these on there and, and cook them from there. That's what we want to get. So it's been about two and a half minutes, we're just gonna rotate it. So we're just gonna quarter turn it. So we're just gonna grab it like this, Literally just turn it on the side, just to get different grill marks on that side. We're just gonna press it down again one more time with our hand. So we really wanna get those impressive grill marks on there. And again, another two minutes, two and a half minutes, and we're gonna flip them over, and we're gonna repeat the whole process with a little bit of butter. All right, so it's been about two and a half minutes. We're just gonna flip these bad boys over, check out these grill marks. Really wanna get those grill marks on there. But this time, just to up it up a notch, you got family and friends, you really want to impress them. We're gonna add a little butter. So I got a little compound butter here that I made with some uh, unsalted butter, uh, garlic and a little bit of lemon and salt and pepper. And we're just gonna put a little bit of that bad boy over top just so while it's cooking on the bottom, it's just kind of basting this steak in a little bit more flavor and just giving it a little bit more awesomeness. So we're just gonna quarter turn it. So we're just gonna grab it like this, literally just turn it on the side just to get different grill marks on that side. We're just gonna press it down again one more time with our hand. We really wanna get those impressive grill marks on there. So it's been another two minutes, so we're just gonna open this guy up. We're gonna check it with our trusty thermometer just to make sure it's between about 125 and 135. We wanna take it off and let it rest for another five to 10 minutes. All right, so it's been 10 minutes here with these ribeyes resting off the barbecue. We're just gonna check these guys out. So let's unveil these guys. Ooh, those look good. Looks amazing. That butter's melted, the garlic's out there. It just looks so good. So why don't we get one of these bad boys out and we'll cut it. Oh yeah, we got a nice little pink center. This is how you grill the perfect steak. Have a great grilling barbecue season and you gotta get ribeyes on the grill like this. Cooking with the Bearded Prairie Chef has been brought to you by the Saskatchewan's Cattlemen's Association.